Let's help children learn to convert word problems into easy to interpret data by using virtual manipulatives. The core standards here state, draw a scaled bar graph to represent a data set with several categories. Solve one and two step how many more and how many less problems using information presented in scaled bar graphs. Here is the problem. It was a crazy day at New York City's Bronx Zoo. Many of the animals had escaped from their cages. Four monkeys went over to the swamp. Two rhinos went to the lion's den. Three elephants decided to hop on over to the parking lot. And one tiger went to find lunch at the cafeteria. Now, how many more monkeys than lions escaped? And how many less tigers than elephants escaped? Might be a little bit hard to figure it out just from the words like that. So let's build a graph and find out. Now let's read this again like we would want the students to do. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Now, four monkeys went over to the swamp. So we're going to use the framing tool, find the monkey, frame the monkey, copy it four times. One, two, three, four. Two rhinos went to the lion's den. There's our rhino. Lion's den, one, two. Three elephants decided to hop on over to the parking lot. Copy one, two, and one tiger went to find lunch at the cafeteria. Find the tiger, copy, and put him in the cafeteria. Now it's easy to see how many more monkeys than lions escaped and how many less tigers than elephants escaped. Math teachers say that once children learn how to create these types of visual aids, eventually they learn to visualize the graph in their heads without having to actually make the graph. I hope I've been able to show you a meaningful representation of how valuable graphic toolbox is in the classroom, how it will help you to meet core curriculum standards, and how vital this technology is for preparing your students to be competitive in this highly visual world. I hope that you see that the possibilities are endless on how Graphics Toolbox can be implemented across all subjects and with all ages and all learning levels. You can see more projects and learn more on our website at www.greatsoftwaretools.com. As passionate as we are to help schools integrate this valuable technology into their classrooms, we're equally dedicated to helping people learn to use Graphics Toolbox. A perfect way to get started is with our Getting Started with Graphics Toolbox tutorial videos. They take you step by step through four popular projects. They run about 45 to 60 minutes long, but they're set up in chapters so you can stop and start as needed. We suggest that you have the video and Graphics Toolbox open at the same time. Watch part of the video, pause it, toggle to Graphic Toolbox, try out the technique, then go back to the video and watch more. People have found these to be a great way to learn the program. Okay. Bye-bye and thanks for coming.